Hello students, we shall take up a problem on estimation of septic tank. To begin with, let us understand what is septic tank? What is the function of septic tank? What is its size? What are its components? What is the material of its construction? Etc. We know that sewage is generally treated before disposal into rivers or on land. Degree of treatment required depends upon the characteristics of source of sewage. Separate tank is a sedimentation tank with a detention period of 12 to 36 hours and provision for digestion of the settled sludge. Separate tanks are generally provided in areas where sewers have not been laid and for catering to the sanitary disposal of sewage products produced from isolated communities like schools, hospitals and other public institutions etc. The size of septic tank is fixed based on the quantity of sewage to be treated. The effluent from the septic tank is disposed by absorption in soil through soak pit or subsoil drains. Septic tank usually consists of brick wall in cement mortar and the foundation floor are of cement concrete 1 to 3 to 6. Both the inside walls faces and the floor are plastered with this minimum thickness of 15 mm or so. The floor should be given a slope of about 1 in 20 for the convenience of collection and removal of the sludge. Separate tank may be also be built with the stone masonry, precast or cast in situ cement concrete. The cover of the septic tank is of RCC slab with a suitable circular openings with the cast iron manhole for cleaning and inspection. The problem statement uh, is as follows. The details of a septic tank are given in the figure. Find out the quantities of following items. 1. Earthwork in excavation. 2nd. Burn brick masonry in CM 1 is to 4 for walls. 3rd. Plastering to masonry inside and flooring. Apart from these items, let us also estimate the quantities of bed concrete, RCC cover slab and the flooring separately. The wall is thicker at the bottom and thin at top as it has to resist the lateral earth pressure. It is as per the structural design. The sequence of construction activity are as follows. First the earthwork, next the bed concrete as at the bottom and uh, after that the construction of side walls. Later the cover slab is provided. After that the plastering inside is done and the flooring is finished at the bottom. Manhole cover is provided at the roof uh, cover slab so that the people can get inside uh, for maintenance and uh, uh, the work. Ep item 1. Item 1 is earthwork in excavation. As you know, the septic tank is uh, constructed underground by excavating the earth. It is a rectangular underground tank. The length of excavation is equal to clear inside length of the tank. That is 5 meter plus wall width at the bottom of at both sides uh, is 0.85 plus 0.85. Therefore, total length of excavation is 6.7 meter. Similarly, width of excavation is equal to clear inside width of the tank that is 2.5 meter plus uh, wall thickness at the bottom at both sides is 0.85 plus 0.85. Therefore, total width of excavation is equal to 4.2 meter. Depth of excavation is equal to total of thickness of bed concrete plus clear inside height up to ground level 2 meter. Therefore, total depth of excavation is equal to 0.3 plus 2 is 2.3 meter. And quantity of excavation is the product of length into breadth into depth is equal to 64.72 meter cube.
Item 2. Bed concrete. The bed concrete is provided at the bottom of the pit for the full excavated area and the walls are built above the bed concrete and the flooring is done over the bed concrete at the end. Therefore, length and breadth of bed concrete is same as that of length and breadth of earthwork and thickness of bed concrete is equal to 0.3 meter and volume of bed concrete is equal to 8.44 meter cube. Item 3. Burnt brick, burnt brick masonry wall in CM 1 is to 4. Let us divide the walls of this rectangular tank as set of two long walls and two short walls. Note that the width of walls at different levels are different. Let us name it as level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4 and level 5. The thickness of wall from bottom to top is reduced by providing offsets at outside wall knee. At inside there are no offsets. It is a straight wall built at inside. As a beginner, you can draw the plan of wall at each of different levels for better visualization and extracting the quantities easily. The heights of each level is given at the left side of the sectional elevation. The width of wall at each of different level is given at the right side of the sectional elevation. At each level, it is a hollow rectangle with the fixed inside dimensions but different outside dimensions. Observe that the length of longer side is different at different levels whereas length of short side walls are constant. The height of each level is equal to 0.4 meter as given in the sketch. The total quantity of burnt brick masonry is obtained by adding the quantities at individual level which is worked out as 17.16 meter cube. Item 4 Inside Plastering to Masonry Walls The clear inside dimension of the septic tank is plastered and its dimensions are 5 meter length and 2.5 meter breadth. There are two long walls and two short walls. The inside height of tank is equal to 2 meter as given and quantity of plastering is equal to 30 meter square. Item 5 Flooring the thickness of flooring is given as 3 cm. The flooring is measured in meter square. Its length and breadth are obtained from the plan as 5 meter and 2.5 meter respectively. And the quantity of flooring is equal to 12.5 meter square. It is the product of length and breadth. Item 6 RCC cover slab. Outer to outer length of cover slab is equal to inside length of tank plus wall thickness at the top at the both ends that is equal to 5 plus 0.3 plus 0.3 is equal to 5.6 meter. The breadth of slab is inside width plus wall thickness at both ends that is equal to 2.5 plus 0.3 plus 0.3 is equal to 3.1 meter. Thickness of slab is given as 0.15 meter. Deduction for manhole of size 0.6 meter into 0.6 meter for the slab thickness is done and the net quantity of uh, uh, cover slab is found to be 2.6 minus 0 0.05 is equal to 2.55 meter cube. If the rate per unit of these items are known, the cost of construction of septic tank can be calculated by using the abstract estimate table. This is the end of uh, the estimate of septic tank. Regards and happy learning.